<clears throat> testing, testing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to A Bus and Beyond. A week ago, we announced that we have sold our VW California Ocean. After four years of ownership, it's been absolutely fantastic, but it's time for us to try something different. Now we've been asked a few times in the comments by curious people as to how much it's actually cost us to own a California Ocean over those four years. So I am gonna break it all down, have a real good look. I've dug out loads of paperwork to, uh, to have a look at how much it has cost us over those four years. Uh, and also just to give you guys an idea, I know some of you are really keen to get a camper van, but you're just not sure how much it's gonna cost you. And also some of you are just a little bit nosy. Right, let's get started and we shall start. I've got my trusty book so that I've got everything written down because yeah, there's a lot of numbers. Now, if you don't really care what items have cost what, just skip right to the end of the video where you'll find out how much it's cost over the over the period of four years. But um, yeah, I'm gonna run through things. I'm gonna start off initially with the actual cost of the van. Now, we bought the van in 2017. It's one of the last Californias of the lower rate tax before they the government introduced a premium for vehicles that are over £40,000 so it beat that thankfully by just a few weeks so it's a little bit less but yeah it's an, it's an early 2017 model. Unfortunately these figures are going to seem pretty low compared to brand new Californias of today. Uh, let's start with the actual cost of the van so fully spec'd up with the options uh, it was a a 150 horsepower DSG California it came in at 52,464 pounds that's with the options so we didn't put a huge amount of items on we put the obviously the Blackberry paint uh, cruise control and a couple of other things like reversing camera there wasn't a huge amount on there you could easily get those vehicles over 60 65 grand uh, back back in those days um, now they start at about that for an ocean but yeah we're talking uh, Fifty-two thousand four hundred and sixty pounds near us, near us. Damn it! Now we managed to secure a discount, which brought the van, actual, the actual van cost, down to forty-eight thousand nine hundred and ninety pounds. I'm going to round some of these figures. Obviously, there's pence and stuff involved in there, but to make it easier, so there's not too many figures thrown at you, I've rounded the figures. So yeah, we're at forty-eight thousand nine hundred ninety pounds. Near us, damn it, forty-nine thousand pounds. At that time, Volkswagen were doing a deposit contribution if you took out their finance. Now we were always gonna finance it no matter what, we don't have 50 grand lying around just to, to drop on a camper van. So um, we chose to finance the vehicle through PCP. Now I'm not telling anyone any financial advice because I'm not authorized to do so, but we chose to, to take the, the finance over PCP, which, uh, if you're not aware how that works, it's a bit different to your traditional finance where say a van costs 50 grand, you pay it over five years and you own it at the end uh, with equal amounts with interest throughout that period. PCP is a little bit different where you have the price of the vehicle, uh, the finance company tell you that the vehicle will be worth X amount at the end of say four years or five years whenever you essentially pay off the difference between the cost of the vehicle and what the vehicle will be worth at the end of that term so you're essentially paying off the depreciation nearly all well i assume nearly all brand new cars on the road are financed this way either that way or leased just because it brings the monthly payment down for very expensive vehicles if you look at if you were to do a traditional type of finance on a vehicle like a California, especially a new one, 60 or 70,000 pound divided by say 60 months 
is a hell of a lot of money per month, well over a thousand pounds per month. So this way it gets your, your prices down and that's why you see people changing their vehicles every three or four years when that finance product comes up to the end of its term. At the end of the term, you can either choose to refinance it, pay off the final figure and just own the vehicle, or you can just give the vehicle back. So we'll look at that when we get a bit further down. Like I say, to recap, the van with discount was £49,000. They were offering deposit contribution of £750 if you took out finance with Volkswagen. So we we put a deposit of £4,000 down ourselves and then Volkswagen added another £750 on top of that, giving us a grand total of £4,750 deposit. Uh, we then had 40 payments, so we did it over three and a half years. Uh, we had 40 payments of just over £600, £620 per month. So yeah, not cheap obviously, uh, but far cheaper than it would have cost us if we had done a traditional higher purchase agreement, which is your, your traditional finance that we all, we all know. So yeah, so we 40 payments of £620, which once we had paid all those uh, £620 instalments, we had then paid uh, £24,800. Now that's not including the deposit, we'll add that up at the end. So yeah, just those 40 payments of £620 comes to £24,800. I know this is a lot of numbers, but um, yeah, stick with it. <laughs> it's like a maths lesson, isn't it? And at the end of our PCP finance agreement, we had a, a guaranteed future value of uh, £24,500 for the vehicle. Now, we were never ever, like I say, there, there you have three options. You can either pay that final figure, you can pay £24,500, keep the vehicle, and then it's yours. You can refinance that amount, um, again, with VW or any other way, you can go and get a bank loan and refinance it that way um, or if you want you can hand the vehicle back now there's a lot of vehicles nowadays that when you get to the guaranteed future value at the end of these agreements the vehicles aren't worth that amount because they've been the market's been flooded with great deals on a certain vehicle or they've just been wildly optimistic and put a really high guaranteed future value on now the california is a little bit different because they hold the value so well if we had given that vehicle back, we'd have essentially lost out on a hell of a lot of equity in the vehicle. So what we chose to do is we we actually refinanced that final figure of 24,500. And at the time, we we ummed and ahed about selling it, but we weren't quite ready to sell it at that time. So this is back in August last year. So we refinanced it. Um, but we that, that then brought our payments down to £480 per month. But as this was back in August, and then we sold the vehicle early this year, we, we actually only did five payments of that £480 and then chose to sell the vehicle. So we actually didn't pay a huge amount of interest on that, that final amount because um, you pay the interest as you go along. And because we weren't, we were no longer borrowing the money for that that length of time we had a lot of uh, rebate of that finance uh, of that interest so yeah we actually then had a final payment of 23,000 uh, to settle the vehicle and clear the finance so to recap on all that because I know like I say that that was a lot of figures there was 4,750 pound deposit but we only paid 4,000 pound so we had 4,000 pound uh, deposit then the 40 payments of 620 pound comes to 24,800 pound we then had 2,400 pound um, payments of that new finance agreement so yeah just another um, few payments on the new finance agreement and then a final settlement of 23,000 when we actually sold the vehicle and that all comes in to a grand total of £54,200 it cost us to have the, the camper van uh, for four years. 
Now, obviously, we've not factored in how much we got when we sold the vehicle, but ignoring that, it came to £54,200. Now, there's a few things that I'm going to exclude. Uh, we're, we're going to run down through other bits, including tax, servicing, etc. I'm going to exclude a few things. I'm going to exclude accessories that we bought because they can often be transferred from vehicle to vehicle, but also some people are going to buy some accessories, some people are going to buy different ones. So an awning isn't necessarily required. Um, there's all sorts of things that people are just, this video would go on forever if I included all the accessories we've bought. So let's just move on to the tax. The tax is obviously an essential item. Like I say, it was one of the vehicles that just beat that £40,000 threshold premium that we, we didn't have to pay, thankfully. So our first rate road tax was £300. And then I think it might have fluctuated by about 10 or 15 pound, but it was around about 250 pound per year after that. So we've got 300 pound for the first rate road tax, plus another three payments of 250 pound. So in total, 1,050 pound for, for tax. So if we add the total road tax payments onto the cost of the van, that brings us up to 55,250 pounds. Next up, we have servicing. So, uh, we actually got two free services included in the purchase of the van. It would have been £240 for a small service package, uh, which includes two services. But we actually got that thrown in because we had a real mix-up uh, at the actual dealership. That's probably a story for a different video. But, um, yeah, basically, they, they messed up and we managed to get that thrown in. So we didn't actually pay for that, but it would have cost 240 pounds. One thing we did buy was a two year extended warranty. The California comes with a three year warranty as standard from the factory, but it was only 330 pounds to add another two years extended warranty onto that, which was a no brainer. It was transferable to any new uh, buyer of the vehicle. So it just, also added a bit of value to the vehicle when it came to sell it or if we chose to keep it it just gave us that peace of mind for another two years so yeah we added a two-year extended warranty which was 330 pound uh, then next up when it actually came obviously we only got two services including we had the van for quite a bit longer so we actually have three services in total because although we had the van for four years it's obviously a year before you have to service it and so on so when it came to servicing the, the California, they actually had a deal on then, which was 380 pound for two services. So it was a no brainer to go with that. Again, it's transferable to a new owner. So it was an absolute no brainer. So we, we pay 380 pound for the two services. And also at that time, uh, it was due the cam belt and water pump change. Now that's quite an expensive job. And I phoned around because you look online and there's a lot of adverts for uh, about £500 for cam belt and water pump. And then I inquired and some places were saying it's going to be £700 and I would argue, well, why is, why is one place saying £550? And it just so happened that that's the Euro 5 engine, but ours was a Euro 6, so we had to pay more. Anyway, I agreed and it, it was going to be about £700, I think, to have the cam belt and water pump changed so I took it in to be to be done and then when the van came back they only charged me 588 pound so god knows why the price changed but I'm not complaining because obviously it was a little bit cheaper um, so so yeah let's call that 590 um, so yeah we're talking uh, around about a thousand pound there for two services uh, cam belt in fact over a thousand pound because we had the extended warranty in there as well so we'll add that in at the end so yeah quite a few more payments there and the only other thing really was tires which now long-term viewers will know that we had bf goodridge tires on our van and we we bought them when the rear sorry when the front tires had worn down uh, we then changed all four tires for bf goodridge tires and i kept the rear two up in the rafters in the garage so when it came to change it back to factory for the new buyer uh, i need to buy another two new tires 
uh, to go with the ones that I already had. And they came in at £267 for two factory fit tyres. So it's a bit hard to to quantify this because you would we didn't need to change the tires because they had the BF Goodrich tires had tons of wear on. So what we'll say is if I double that 267 pound and just assume that we would have had to buy that we would have had to have bought four tires over the life of the the four years of the the vehicle that we had it uh, that I think that's probably more accurate of, of the actual cost. So yeah, so £550 say for for four tyres uh, over the four years I think is a fair guesstimate. So adding all that together, so adding the cost of the van, the tax, the servicing, the warranty, the tyres etc all comes to so we've got fifty five thousand two hundred and fifty pound for the actual cost of the van plus the the road tax and then another three hundred and thirty pound for the two-year extended warranty plus another three hundred and eighty pound for two services uh, 590 pound for the cam belt and water pump and then 550 pound for the four tires that gives us a grand total of £57,100. So yeah, not a cheap vehicle at all. Um, and we always get comments all the time saying, gosh, for the price of that camper van, you could have eight million holidays in Tenerife in a hotel and all that kind of stuff but it's kind of missing the point really because obviously we love camping and also the the biggest thing is when you factor in when you sell the vehicle at the end of it camper vans are notorious for holding the value California's especially so we're in a bit of a, a unique scenario at the minute with the pandemic a lot of people are, are choosing to buy camper vans because they can't go on holiday, they can't go abroad. So yeah, the market is is very good at the minute. So we chose to market our California for £43,950. I think that was a fair price. Uh, some people are asking ridiculous figures. Some people are asking over 50 grand for vans of the same age, which I just think is just being greedy and, and which is often why you see them still sat there for a while. We wanted it to be a nice, fair, quick sale. So yeah, we marketed it at £43,950. I advertised it on Auto Trader. Within, oh, within 15 minutes, we started getting phone calls and emails about it. And the first person to put a deposit down had done within about 10 hours of it going uh, on the market. So super, super fast, really, really quick. And they they paid full asking price for it. Um, yeah, which which if we take that figure off, so £57,100 minus the £43,950, uh, yeah, gives us a grand total of £13,050. So nearest time at 13 grand for the actual ownership of the vehicle, which when you put it like that, it's really not bad, is it at all? It's not a bad cost. Yes, it's expensive to buy in the first place, but I've shown you there that even with interest on uh, finance payments, it's really not too expensive. The, if you compare that to something like a, a BMW 5 Series over the same period would cost you so much more money. So yeah, when you look at that per year, you're looking at about £3,300 per year, which yes, again, you can still have a very nice holiday for that every year, but you still need an everyday vehicle as well. So it's really not as expensive as some people think. So there you have it. That is a full detailed breakdown of how much our VW California Ocean cost us over the four years that we owned it. Now, I've just realized as I've been editing this that I completely forgot the insurance. So um, yeah, obviously you need insurance. That's a, a legal requirement. 
Now it varies massively on who's insuring the vehicle, who's driving the vehicle. So I can only tell you what we paid. So we paid just over 300 pound a year for both of us to drive it. And that was insured through Comfort Insurance, which just continually seemed to be the cheapest. Every time they sent us a renewal quote, uh, it was about the same price. So we never actually uh, changed it at all. We always stuck with Comfort. So four years of just over 300 pound, between 310 and 320 pound, per year adds another 1200 pound onto the the cost of ownership so don't forget insurance i hope that's been useful for some of you um even if you just just fancied a nosy at how much it cost that shows you exactly how much it cost uh, there's obviously like i say there's other things there's fuel included in that obviously when we went all around europe there's tolls and everything it costs us way more when you factor in all the actual holidays included i get that let us know in the comments below do you think that's a a reasonable price for a, for a camper van over the period of time i don't think it's too bad at all like i say camper vans have certainly gone up over the past year they're very very expensive now uh, but haven't all vehicles cars just seem to get more and more expensive all the time and i know that's because people are buying them on finance so the actual figure of the the cost of the vehicle doesn't really matter People just care about the monthly payments. But you certainly could get it a bit cheaper if you didn't need to finance it. If you could just buy them outright, that makes it that makes it cheaper. And they're really not a bad vehicle to buy because they hold their value so well. But anyway, let us know in the comments below what you think of those figures. Do you think it's expensive? Do you think that's fairly reasonable? And also, I'm really sorry at the amount of figures that were thrown at you during that, <laughs> that video. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and it really helps us out if you do subscribe. So that'd be really, really good if you could. And uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know what you think. We shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.